I'm going through today is an initial assessment or a general assessment that we do with our patient on their first visit to us. Three features that we mainly look for when we're looking at the person's body is asymmetry, tissue texture and range of motion. So with asymmetry we're looking at spinal curves, whether they're front to back or side curves. We're looking at levels of shoulders, shoulder blades, pelvis, knees, ankles. Then we're looking at range of motion. So what we normally would do is get our patient to do some movements so we can assess quality and quantity, looking for pain, etc. So I'll just get you to bend forward, just gently as if to touch your toes. That's great. And coming back up, again, we're looking for how far and if there is any pain involved. Then I'll just get you to take your right arm down your right leg. Again, assessing both here, the thoracic and lumbar spine, and then the other way. That's great, and come back up. And a general neck assessment, so we'll just get you to turn your head to the left, and to the right, and look straight, and nod your head forward, just as far as you feel comfortable, and gently coming back up. That's great. Now we're just going to be feeling for tissue tension, which may draw us to a, a certain part or segment of their spine a little later on when we're looking a little bit closer to the individual segments. Uh, so we just run our hand down the spine initially to feel for any areas that are in trouble. And then looking at also the general musculature of the back, having a feel of that. We also assess respiration. Take a deep breath in for the lower rib cage and for the upper rib cage. Just take a deep breath in. If the in history indicates, we will also uh, perform orthopedic or neurological assessment uh, to the relevant areas. Hello, my name is Peter Carter. I'm an osteopath and I'm currently practicing at the Medical Sanctuary. I've been practicing osteopathy for over 20 years. Did you know that one third of the Australian population suffer from musculoskeletal problems which cause pain or restricts movement? Nine out of ten people throughout their lifetime will suffer back pain that incapacitates them for more than one week. You might be surprised to learn that osteopathy has been around a long time. In fact, there are over 40,000 practitioners worldwide. In Australia, our training involves a five-year Bachelor of Science and Master's degrees at university. You'll find most osteopaths work in private practice alongside GPs and other health professionals. Hi, I'm Therese Thomas, an osteopath that's practicing currently at the Medical Sanctuary. Osteopathy has a philosophy that guides our method of assessment and treatment approach. Our key principles and philosophy of practice are, firstly, that the body is a total functional unit with all parts interrelated. Secondly, to support the structure and the function so that they work in harmony together. Thirdly, that the body is capable of self-healing, self-regulation and maintaining homeostasis when there is nothing to impede this. Our primary aim when we're treating you is to help restore your body's natural ability to heal itself using manual techniques. This may incorporate lifestyle changes, nutritional advice, exercise, and stress management strategies. Conditions that we treat include back and neck pain, headaches, migraines, overuse injuries, pregnancy, shoulder problems, hip problems, ankle and knee problems. Osteopathic treatment is covered by most private health funds and is available under the Enhanced Primary Care program, which provides a limited Medicare rebate dictated by your GP.